Education has been improving steadily in Australia in the recent 21st century. However, for the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander community, any improvements have been stagnant. By researching past Australian literature, we have found a number of alarming statistics concerning the number of students and graduates of secondary and tertiary education, particularly in comparison to other ethnic groups. In 1999, sociologists Ferrier and Higney assessed the access rates of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders at Monash University, referring to the number of commencing students in each equity group as a percentage of all commencing students. The results were staggeringly low. 0.31% for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students, while rates were 13.03% for low socioeconomic status students aged 15 to 24, and 13.06% for rural students. They also looked at participation, referring to how many members of each equity group make up the percentage of total enrolled students. For students of non-English speaking background, 1.07% and isolated students at 1.37%, while Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students at only 0.69%. The Social Justice Report of 2008 deals with the statistical overview of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in Australia and by looking specifically at rates in education, we are able to see the improvement. In 2001 and 2006, the proportion of Indigenous peoples aged 15 years and over who completed Year 12 increased from 20% to 23%, as well as an increase in the proportion of people who had completed a non-school qualification from 20% to 26%. These trends show small improvements in the inequality for education for non-Indigenous Australians. In 2007, the retention rate for Indigenous full-time students from Year 7 to Year 10 was 91%, and to Year 12 students was 43%, and we are seeing a slow but steady increase over the past decade. Year 12 completion rates have improved in all states and territory, the most dramatic being seen in Tasmania from 17 to 22%, the Australian Capital Territory from 42 to 46% and Queensland from 26 to 30%. Younger Indigenous Australians are more likely to have completed Year 12 than older Indigenous Australians. In the 2006 census, it can be seen that 36% of people aged 18 to 24 years have completed Year 12 in comparison to the 9% completion rate of people 55 years and older, showing a huge increase in the new generation of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students. Overall, we are seeing a steady increase in student graduates and retention rates from Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. This shows the possibility of further improvement. However, this will not na occur naturally. There is an extensive amount of research that must go behind these plans to improve the quality of education and to increase the number of active students in the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander community.